Hello everyone, this is Music Weekly Nice to Come TV. My name is Henry Igwe. Thank you all for joining us once again. We are so delighted. Remember that you can subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this page, drop us comments, share these videos, and recommend ideas for us. We are pretty much open to learning and modifying this to suit you all. So yes, Whiskey, whisk I mean like this week feels like a Whiskey week because he dropped that EP that has been so talked about across from America to Canada to London to Africa. You know, I'm not forgetting Nigeria because it's been buzzing on radio and we're talking nothing other than sounds from the other side that features some of the finest artists in the world. And yeah, Whiskey, Whiskey is Africa's golden boy. So yeah, we can only expect something of this sort from him. He spoke to Ibro Darden of Beats One, talking about how he grew from nothing to something in Oju Elegba, how the craft has shaped to become something of a world famous craft and all of that good stuff pretty much. So, yeah, we love, we love this one from Whiskey. There's Mr. Easy as well in the news, but I mean, before we do that, we should talk about features, collaborations with Whiskey. Remember, they are touring together this year, and Future has come out to say that they have several unreleased materials. So Whiskey is really sky high at the moment, and we're so proud of him. Mr. Easy as well, who is affiliated to Whiskey, performed at The Late Show with James Corden. That's some Apple affiliated movement, and he performed Legover and In The Morning, and we, easy easy has met up with the guys at OVO Drake's camp and he is he's looking like the next big shot from other Africa and we can't but wait really we can't but wait Flavor is also in the news remember he has this new project called Ijele which he just dropped and he's making waves here and there he, he spoke about his marital status in in a new interview he's speaking about how he cannot combine being married and making music so he's chosen to focus on making music despite having several baby mamas and other groupies on the side we love you flavor but i mean it's about time for you to probably settle down and be taken more seriously in the industry look at peace square look at two faced dbr even banky is doing that line. nigeria's minister for information and culture lai muhammad has spoken about the reported plans to ban place a ban on nigerian musicians who go abroad to show videos He's come out to refute all such claims, saying that the entire idea is for us to promote our culture some more to the foreigners, to all of, all of these other persons who watch us from outside the country. So, materials like, so projects like Big Brother Nigeria should be shot in Nigeria instead of taking them outside other countries, you know, to shoot, thereby enriching their economies, which is a valid one, Minister, but you need to provide for us some of the basics for all of this to thrive, like electricity, like good roads, like internet. I mean, like, look at the flooding in Lagos, for instance. Do you expect the client speakers to be swimming in the flood once he's trying to, whilst he's trying to go shoot for maybe a huge project, for instance? Or do you expect power to keep fluctuating and then you want guys to, you know, work on stuff in Nigeria? It'd be pretty difficult. So, if you can help us start to, you know, better this industry, you know, provide the necessary uh, conditions for all of this to thrive, yeah, I hope we do believe that these guys will shoot in nigeria so we are done for our news this week we have our chat show as usual this is you know backed by a popular demand at number five we have yc featuring mike berry and it is nothing other than juice which is one of the dopest records on nigerian radio at the moment coming closely is still a savage all over and i mean maybe in first lady we expect nothing less than this from her you know she's bounced back from that shaky 2016 and she's doing huge 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 stuff so we can't but wait for bigger things to come. At number three, we have Fauzi's JJ, which is absolutely a breathtaking record. You know, portrays the African culture in the right light, you know, shot in Africa, even though our minister says we shouldn't leave the country whilst we're shooting videos. At number two, we have Whiskey and Drake come closer. You need no introduction. A humdinger of a record. You should go copy it. Copy the new sounds from the other side's EP. Even though Whiskey spoke to Ibo Darden and said that it was supposed to be for free, at number one, we have Eve by David O. That's the biggest record in the continent today. I don't know. You can take this to the bank and say we said so from Nice to Come TV. Thank you all for your time. Remember that you can subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this page, drop us comments, and share this video. My name is Henry Igwe. Stay tuned. We'll see you guys next week.